So here's a serious talk. I want to talk to you about healing. Not mystical support class magic healing. Like actually healing yourself. You know the things that bother you. They keep you awake at night. They keep you from doing the things you want to do. Me, it's anxiety attacks. It's panic attacks. I've talked about them in the podcast. I'll throw a link in the show notes so you can sort of see where I'm coming from. Uh, I've been doing therapy for about two years. And I can tell you that it is worthwhile to prioritize healing. Putting work into getting better, into getting by. We prioritize security in a lot of other ways. Financial plans, food plans, organizational plans, project plans. Make a plan for you. Not in some kind of optimization way, but in, in some kind of wholeness way. It's work. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes collaboration, just like any other kind of work. If you're worried about how much work it is for others, check in with them honestly. Right? Try and, and get that feedback. If you're not worried about how much work it is for other people in your life to sort of help you do your healing, maybe start worrying about that a bit. It is work. It takes energy. Think about who your support network is, who you reach out to, not just in times of crisis, but every day for contact, for community. Those are the people you lean on and the people who lean on you. It's important that that network of people be diverse. If you only lean on one person, then you've got one point of failure and it puts a lot of weight on that person too. And they're doing their own work. Also, I cannot stress this enough. If you are a dude, a dude identified person, ask yourself honestly this question. Are all the people I rely on to help me with this work, the work of figuring myself out, the work of figuring out my life, the work of figuring out my problems, are they all women? Lean on your dude friends. Like step up and do that bro emotional labor. It's, it's a real good time, right? You get real bonds and real friendships out of that. If you are hurting bad and you can allocate the resources, you can find the resources to that. Remember, like this is just like any other project. You commit time, you commit resources. Look for professionals, right? That might mean podcasts, that might mean blogs, right? If you're, if you're broke, therapy ain't cheap. But that might mean sessions with a professional. Maybe it's one every couple of months. Maybe it's one a week if that's what you can do. I've been doing it for two years now. I can honestly say it's helped me a lot. It's helped me figure out things that I want. It's helped me clarify sort of my thoughts about myself and about my life. I am legit doing a lot better. You are awesome. Don't forget that. But find the time do the work to stay that way. Stay awesome.